What's up guys, Jeff here, and in this video, we're gonna be going over my passive income sources that's been able to get me $3,448 a month for doing absolutely nothing right now. And I'm gonna to explain to you guys exactly how to do it, and you're gonna be able to copy a lot of these as well, so stick around in the video. If you're new here, make sure you guys hit the like button, you hit the subscribe button, and let's get into the video. So the best part about these income sources you guys could all do these. It is gonna take a bit of effort up front. Well, that's the thing with this passive income. It's passive now, but it's taking me years to get to where I am in order to be making this kind of money. And I'm hoping throughout this channel, I'm able to continue to post videos where this number is gonna go up and up and up. And really guys, I'm a nobody on the internet, so I have 7,000 subscribers on YouTube. You guys could do this as well. I am 36 years old now, so it's taken me quite some time to do this. There's there's kids on the internet that have done this at like 22, and you know I'm extremely jealous of them, but I'm happy that I'm slowly catching up right now. And really for me, 3,400 bucks a month is pretty awesome because that pretty much pays for my entire house here without even having to trade my time for money. Now I've always been obsessed with passive income, but it's extremely hard to actually get there. It takes a lot of work up front. So one of the best things you could do is read a book called The 4-Hour Workweek by Tim Ferriss and it really goes over automating your entire life and learning how to get passive income. Now one of the ways I make passive income is through Amazon affiliates. If you aren't new to this channel, you're going to know that I have a lot of real estate and I've always wanted to have all my rental properties pay for all my daily expenses, the cash flow, but I'm not going to cover any of my tenants and any of my properties for my passive income video here because for properties, there's still a lot of stuff I have to do. I have managers calling me all the time and it is definitely not passive. So with the four hour work week, if you purchase that, down below in the links, it's an affiliate link and I get a commission for every time you buy that. A cookie stays within Amazon for 24 hours. So if you go and you try to buy the four hour work week, but you don't do it, but you go back into Amazon later and then you buy a really expensive typewriter, I get a commission on that typewriter. Now I need to be plugging these a little bit more because the passive income is not the greatest. It's actually pretty low, but it's kind of cool, especially if you're only like an 18 year old, this would be kind of neat. So it gets me an extra $119 a year, which only works out to about nine bucks a month, $9.92 a month extra on Amazon affiliates. What's great about the Amazon affiliate links is, is they just sit there and people can end up clicking and it's really neat. You kind of go in there and all of a sudden you see someone has bought a big ticket item and you get paid on that. So the more uh, blogs you have out there and uh, YouTube videos and you have the links in the descriptions, or if you run a good Facebook groups, you can sometimes post uh, items in there, you can get paid on those. So it's kind of neat and they can sit there forever. People might click the links, people share it, and you could get paid. The next one would be YouTube ad revenue from Google. You need 1,000 subscribers on YouTube and 4,000 hours of consecutive watch time in order to potentially be monetized by YouTube. And once you do that, you can start to make some big money. Well, unless you're my channel. Now, even for this channel with over 7,000 subscribers right now, I do get a decent amount of money. I get $148 a month on average on the winter months. That actually pays a little bit better leading into Christmas. Uh, for me, during the pandemic, my ad revenue kind of went down. Really what this one takes, you have to actually just press record on your camera and actually start posting videos. And once you can actually monetize, you can start to make money and it deposits right into your account. But if I was working a salary job and I was getting an extra $148 a month by going home at night and shooting videos, I think that'd be pretty cool, especially if I was again, like a 20 year old or something like that. So uh, moral story guys, start early on your YouTube channel. You're not gonna be like me at 36 trying to make this happen right now, but it's kind of neat because you get an extra 148 bucks a month, pays for some groceries, pays for some of the hydro bills, whatever. And what's really neat, I have a couple cool videos like the heated driveway video. So I bought the heated driveway and we're working on that right now but the video is making a decent amount of money. So it's pretty neat where eventually, hopefully the video pays for the heated driveway. Also one of my most profitable videos is a vlog about a cleaning solution, Go Fog It. And obviously now that everybody's searching for different ways to clean their homes, this video has shot up in the ranks and I'm getting paid pretty decently on that now. And why it's great is because it's completely passive. The heated driveway video I shot maybe over a year ago now and it's still making money every single month. I don't have to do anything. That's the beauty about YouTube. They can sit there, those videos, they're digital assets that you have 
and people start watching them or all of a sudden if that event becomes trending, that video could shoot up and you could be making a lot of money. So again, you just gotta press record, make your content, it can sit there, they're all digital assets. We used to always want to collect rental properties to invest in real estate, but if you start thinking about YouTube videos being kind of like an investment property, if I'm making $148 a month on YouTube, how much more rental properties do I have to raise rent by in order to get that? So slowly next year, my YouTube revenue will be maybe $250 a month, maybe it'll be $500 a month, and that's gonna feel pretty cool. There's some really good channels out there, obviously guys like uh, Accelerate, who's making like $3,000 a month doing cars, and it really depends on what your niche is gonna be. Uh, Graham Stephan is killing it on YouTube, and he talks about finances all the times, and basically if you're a, a bank, you're gonna be putting your ads in front of Graham Stephan's videos, and you're gonna to wanna to like fight over it, and that's why he probably gets a very high ad revenue, and that's kinda of how YouTube ads work. So if you produce content that advertisers wanna be in front of, you will get paid more. So obviously for me, cleaning product, people wanna be in front of the cleaning product video, and my heated driveway video, probably contractors that are trying to get bids or something is going in front of that. If I talk about how to save money, nobody cares and they don't put good money in front of that because people are trying to save money. If I talk about how to make a lot of money and spend it, good advertisers are gonna put their product in front of my videos and pay me out well. Now the third passive income stream that I have right now is my real estate agent course. And I shot this course maybe two and a half years ago. I've added to it a little bit here and there but it just kind of sits in my Teachable account right now, and every so often somebody buys it and I get a commission from my company. Just recently, I actually did a sale on it for Black Friday and 28 people, I guess everybody wants to be a real estate agent right now, actually bought the course, and it was able to make $2,000 in that weekend, so it's pretty neat. It's a course I shot two years ago, I just re-advertised it for a weekend, and everybody used their credit card and bought the course. So that one's working out to about $164 a month right now. If you divide up that, I might do another Christmas sale on that, so stay tuned and see if I can raise the totals on that. If you are good at something, if you're good at photography, make a photography course that you can sell to people and start a YouTube channel talking about photography and sell the course. So these, these are all things you guys could do. Uh, you just gotta get creative. And for my real estate agent course, I just talked from all the knowledge that I knew and recorded myself and then made it into modules and anybody can purchase it that's trying to become a real estate agent. And catchy title was how to make $100,000 in your first year being a real estate agent, uh, because that's something I did. So pick something that you're good at and try to make a little course about it and brand yourself online and you're gonna be able to sell it as well too. And what I do for that, I put the link in all my YouTube videos so no matter what video somebody's watching, they may go through the description and they may go on Amazon affiliates and they may go on to my real estate agent course and likely hopefully make me a commission. All right, so the fourth passive income stream that I have right now and this is the big one that's gonna get me to my totals. And this one's a little bit harder for everyone to do. It's taken me all the way to where I am now. I have a lot of real estate and I was able to sell a little bit of it, but I had all this cash, all this money. Basically, I, when I'm in sales right now, I get all my money from my commissions from selling homes and you pay taxes towards the end of the year. But what I like to do is lend my money out to people that I trust at a very high interest rate. So this might not be for everybody. What I like to do is actually build relationships and I only lend to the people that I absolutely trust and I know exactly what they're doing in real estate. So right now I have $250,000 lent out at a 15% rate right now um, that I'm getting passively every single month. So normally people would take that money and try to buy real estate with it. I'm lending it to real estate investors and they're paying me 15% on the money and it's perfect for if you're in between projects or you don't actually want your money to be stuck into real estate, you can lend it to these people that you trust. And again, you might not want to do this, you might want to secure it on something. For me, it's on a promissory note and actually over half of it is lent to my own corporation. So my own corporation is then paying me interest to lend to them rather than just getting anybody else. So for that one, for every single month, for literally doing nothing, I'm getting $3,125 uh, in the passive income from the investments. That won't last forever because they may actually give me the money back at one point and not let me collect interest because they're done what they're doing. But right now that's what I'm getting. And to be honest, they're probably gonna keep the, the juice running for a bit. So at least for the next year, that'll be going on. 
but since I'm in a real estate space, I'll see who the next big player is and that big player is going to need some money. So I'm able to allocate the funds over there to get the passive income. So yes, $250,000, you probably don't have that potentially to lend to somebody, but maybe you have $50,000 and you can be getting some points on that, 10 points, 11, 12, I happen to be getting 15. So in grand total for all that, it's about $3,448 a month for generally doing absolutely nothing. And again, this doesn't come into play any of the appreciation I'm getting on my buildings. Currently, as of this video, I have 96 rental units uh, controlling over $11 million in real estate through my corporation and some personally. So there's all that as well, but it's pretty cool that the passive income stuff is taking care of all the daily operations so I can shoot YouTube videos like this and then also focus on my real estate agent career as well and my real estate investing career. So it's just kind of really neat to finally be at this level because, you know, I'm sure everybody has traded an entire month to try to make $3,400 at a job, right? Um, and I'm able to do that every single month without ever really, I don't even need to leave the house. So super cool. What I really want to tell you guys is you can do this too. I'm not that special. I'm figuring this all out. Like what 36 year old knows how to do YouTube? Not too many people. I just pressed record on this thing and tried to figure it out, put some links in my descriptions and just went from there. So if you are new to this channel, I'd really appreciate a subscribe because I'm going to be posting more videos like this and more videos to help you out with finances and how to you know retire early and uh, do it in style. And if you'd like, Follow me on my Instagram. I post there every single day. I promise I won't post like real estate stuff every minute. That'll be my life a bit. And you can see who the real Jeff Weibel is. So get over and follow me at Jeff Weibel on Instagram. And guys, we'll see you on the next video. Bye.